Hi friends, good morning. Please look at the next problem in ratio and proportion. See friends, the incomes of A, B, C are in the ratio 7 is to 9 is to 12. That means their incomes are 7x, 9x and 12x. And their spendings are in the ratio 8 is to 9 is to 15. That means their spendings are 8y, 9y and 15y. It is also given that A savings, A savings is 1 by 4 of his income. A savings is 1 by 4 of his income. That means if A's, if A's income is 4, income is 4, then his savings is 1. Income is 4, his savings is 1. And expenditure is income minus savings. So expenditure is equal to 4 minus 1, 3. Now, the ratio of A's income and expenditure that is 7x by 8y. 7x by 8y is equal to income by expenditure. Income 4 and expenditure 3. So 7x by 8y is equal to 4 by 3. It implies x by y. x by y is equal to 8 fourths 32 by 21. 32 by 21. Now, x is equal to 32 and y is equal to 21. Let us find A's savings. A's savings is 7x minus 8y. A's savings, A's savings is equal to 7x. 7 into 32. 7 30 is 210 plus 14. 224 minus 8y. 8 into 21. 820 is 160 plus 1, 8, 1, 8, 168, 14 minus 8, 6, 21 minus 16, 15. This is A's saving. Now let us come to B savings. 9x minus 9y. 9x, 9 into x minus y. 9 into x minus y, 32 minus 21, 11. 9 into 11, 99. This is the savings of B. Let us see the savings of C. 12x minus 15y. 12 into 32. 12 30 is 360 plus 24. 384 minus 1521. 1520 is 300 plus 15. 315. This is equal to 9 37 16. So these are the savings of A, B, C. That is 56 is to 99 is to 69 friends. Okay friends, thank you. Have a nice day.